at the heart of West Yorkshire. BBC Radio Lead. We've really got lucky this morning because Father Christmas ever so busy. Obviously, it's his busiest day of the year, but he still found time to help the punters here at uh, BBC Radio Leeds in West Yorkshire. And uh, the first two who want to talk to Santa is Stephen and Andrew. Good morning, Stephen. Morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you for listening this morning. Are you enjoying the show? Yeah. Is it exciting having Christmas on the radio? Yeah. That's lovely, isn't it? How's Andrew doing? Are you there, Andrew? Hello? Hello, Andrew. How are you? Fine. Are you ready to talk to Santa Claus? Yeah. All right. Well, hang on there. I'll talk to you in a minute. And Jacob's there as well. He's five years old. Hello, Jacob. Hi. Hello. You sound a bit down this morning. What's the matter, Jacob? Not very well. Oh, what's the matter, Jacob? You can't be ill on Christmas Eve. Oh. oh dear, I thought you'd been out on the booze last night with that growl. Hey, listen, shall we phone Santa Claus? Yeah. Would that cheer you up a little bit? Yeah. Is that all right? Because we yeah. want you to be better for Christmas. Yeah. All right, stay there, Jacob. At the heart of West Yorkshire. BBC Radio Lead. <laughs> oh, I wish that blessed Alex Belfield had stopped ringing me. <laughs> Stephen! Hello? Hello. Hello, Stephen. Merry Christmas. It's Santa Claus here. <laughs> How are you? Fine, thank you. Are you all excited? Yeah. Oh, dear. Have a word with Jacob because he's not feeling very well this morning, my little elves tell me. Hello, Jacob. No. Oh dear, there's a lot of daddies all over West Yorkshire feeling ill after the final day at work yesterday. <laughs> well, I'm going to make you feel better because I want your Christmas list in a moment. But first, I want to talk to Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Hello. Merry Christmas. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Oh, well, Santa Claus is very happy to talk to you. Now, Andrew, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. And where do you live? Garforth. Garforth. Now, let me check my notes. Hang on a moment. Ah, yes. Andrew, eight years old in Garforth. Now, you've been a good boy this year, so I will be visiting this morning. Tomorrow morning, between the hours of about 8 p.m. and about 6 a.m., so you must be asleep on time. Is that all right, Andrew? Yeah. Very good. Now, what can I get you for Christmas? <laughs> uh, the Lego City Airport. You want to go to an airport? He's no, the Lego City Airport. Oh, a Lego City Airport. I thought you were talking about them poor beggars at Heathrow. have been sat there since last Saturday. <laughs> Father Christmas will be bringing them a treat. Yes, we'll get BMI baby flying before Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to get that runway clear if Rudolph has to do it himself. <laughs> I'm going to get him to walk along the runway with his big red nose going... <laughs> Blow away the snow. They'll be able to take off for Christmas. Isn't that nice, Andrew? <laughs> OK, yeah. you want some Lego? Anything else I can get you? Uh, the Scooby-Doo Pirate Fort place there. Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? Scooby-Dooby-Doo! Oh, 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 yes, we'll get you some Scooby-Doo. No problem there whatsoever. OK, let me talk to Stephen then. What would you like, Stephen? Hello. Hello, it's Santa Claus here. Do you recognise my voice? Yeah. <laughs> what would you like for Christmas? Uh, uh, the Lego game Lava Dragon. Lava Dragon? <laughs> I call Mrs. Claus the Lava Dragon sometimes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and... Yes? And the Lego game Pirate Plank. Pirate Plank, yes. <laughs> it's Lego game. Good, right. OK, well, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Santa Claus is keeping his eye on you all year, so you must be good boys. So, Stephen and Andrew, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. And you get to bed early because I shall be coming down your chimney and I want a mince pie, something to drink, and a little carrot for Rudolph. <laughs> Calm down, Rudolph. There we are. I'm stroking Rudolph now. Look. <laughs> be careful what you do with your red nose. All the best to you, Andrew and Stephen. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, what lovely young boys, Stephen and Andrew from Garforth. Now then, let's talk to Jacob, who's not feeling very well today. Hello, Jacob. 
Hey. Oh, dear. Are you feeling a bit grim? Yeah. You're not feeling very well. What has Mummy given you to make you feel better? Medicine. Some medicine. And you've taken it like a good boy? Yeah. Because what Santa's going to do now, I'm going to send some dust down the phone, and by tomorrow morning, you're going to be feeling better. So when Santa sends his dust down the phone, I want you to breathe in and you go... <gasps> you sound like an asthmatic. Would you try that for me? Yeah. Go ahead, Jacob. Breathe in. <sighs> right, so when I do it this time, Santa's going to send his better dust down the phone. And you're going to breathe in. So here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Did you breathe in then, Jacob? Yeah. Well, by tomorrow morning, you're going to be feeling better. <laughs> Isn't that nice, Jacob? Yeah. Now, what can I get you for Christmas? You can get me to say lightsaber. A, a lightsaber? <laughs> Mummy will like that. What else can I get for you? Lego police Lego. Oh, a policeman. Lego policeman. That's a policeman that doesn't move, isn't it? <laughs> a bit like those community officers. <laughs> now then, what else can I get for you? Spaceship that I can go in and take off. Oh, a spaceship that can take off. Well, I'm going to write all of that down, and I've got it on my list. Mrs. Claus, is that all sorted? Yes. Well, now listen. I don't like a toy robot. A toy robot. Well, I've written all that down, and I want you to know Santa loves you very much, and you're going to feel better by tomorrow morning because you breathed in Santa's get well dust. Is that nice, Jacob? Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Alex Belfield in the morning. BBC Radio Leeds. At the heart of West Yorkshire. BBC Radio Leeds. Such an exciting time of year. Of course, the big man's about to arrive. Well, by this time tomorrow, he'll have already been. So excited to talk to the kids this morning. If the kids are listening and they want to read their Santa's list, to Santa, the big man, Father Christmas, 0845 303 333 is our number. We've got Amy on the line. Good morning to you, Amy. Good morning. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Fine, thank you. Merry Christmas to you. You too. Have you got the tree up already? Yeah. Has your mum made any mince pies? Yes, she has. Really? Yeah. Are they nice and delicious? I ain't tried one yet, but I'm hoping yeah. Very good. And would you like to speak to Father Christmas then? Yes, please. It's quite technically difficult, so I'm going to have to press a few buttons to dial him live on air because we're going live into his uh, grotto and he couldn't come into the studio because he's busy getting your presents ready. Is that all right? So you stay there. I'm going to try and dial him now and see if we can speak to Father Christmas. Could you put him through, Katie? Katie, could you put th- on light? Yeah, line 17, put through Father Christmas. Yeah, in your own time, love, whenever you... Thank you. Thank you. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Father Christmas, good morning. Is that Amy? Yes. Hello, Amy. It's Father Christmas. We're live on BBC Radio Leeds. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. How are you, Amy? Fine, thank you. Are you looking forward to seeing me later on? Yes. Oh, well, I've got a little list in front of me, but I want to know what you want for Christmas. Um, a black. Yes. A- Jedward CD. <laughs> what do you want a Jedward CD for? <laughs> They're not very good, are they? <laughs> do you like Jedward? Yeah. They're very strange, aren't they? They look a bit like that Anton Deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a Jedward CD. Let me see what I can do for you, young lady. Jedward CD. Yes, I've got that on my list. What else would you like? Um, I'd really like a trampoline. A tambourine? Oh, 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 very nice. What are you going to do with that, then? Um, I don't know. A tambourine is a very funny thing to have for Christmas. Sorry, Mrs. Claus? Oh, a trampoline! Oh, I thought you said a tambourine! Oh, what a strange thing that would have been. I'll put on the list a trampoline for you then, Amy. Anything else I can get you for Christmas? No. That's it, is it? Well, have you been a good girl this year? Yes. Yeah. 
Well, you must be very good for the rest of the day, and I'd like you to say a Merry Christmas to your mummy, Deborah. Is that all right? Yeah. Merry Christmas to you, Amy, and lots of love from Father Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye bye. Alex Belfield in the morning. BBC Radio Lead. I think our next cab off the rank is Charlotte. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning. How old are you, love? Six. Six years old. And you'd like to speak to Santa, would you? Yeah. Great. Well, I'm going to put you through as soon as I can. Our team are just trying to get the line through to Lapland to speak to the big man. Uh, I think next we're going to talk to uh, Ellie and Gabby are there. Uh, Good morning, Ellie. Good morning. How are you, love? Okay. Very good. And is Gabby there as well? Yeah. Very good. Let me speak to Gabby then. Hi. Hi, Gabby. How are you? Fine. How old are you, Gabby? Eight. Would you like to speak to Santa Claus? Yes, please. Okay, well, Charlotte's going to go first, so we're going to try and ring him now if we can. Can we try sticking the line through? Would you mind? Yeah, if you could put the yeah put the call through, and then I'll put him through on air. Is that all right, Katie? Thank you, love. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! Uh, hello, this is Father Christmas. Is that Charlotte? Yeah. Hello, Charlotte. How are you? Okay, thank you. Are you very excited for Christmas? Yeah. What would you want for Christmas? Um, future Bella Boss, a South Indian school. Oh, and... You'll have to slow down. I didn't really pick up on that. What was the first thing you wanted? Um, a Chichi Bella Boy. Chichi Belly Boy, yes. What else would you like? Um, Moxie Go- Girl Snow Cabin. Cabin. Oh, oh, that sounds very complicated. So that's mm. lovely. I made a note of that. Have you been a good girl this year? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Because if you haven't, I'll find out. Shall I check my list to see whether you've been good this year? Let me check the pay. Hang on a moment. Where are you from, Charlotte? Leeds. Charlotte in Leeds. Six years. You've been a good girl this year. If you be good for the rest of the day, I may come and see you in the morning. <laughs> Charlotte, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, I love you very much, and you have a wonderful Christmas Eve. <laughs> Bye-bye, Charlotte. Bye. Bye-bye. Uncle Alex tells me Ellie's on the line. Hello, Ellie. Hello. <laughs> Hello, it's Father Christmas here. How are you? Okay, thank you. Oh, it's lovely to speak to you this morning. And is Gabby there as well? Um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> hello, Gabby. Hello. How old are you? Eight years old. Oh, that's wonderful. What would you like for Christmas, Ellie? Um... Sims 2DS game, please. I, I beg your pardon, what would you like? A Sims 2DS game, please. Yes, TBS game, yes. Um, a, um, a pink desk, please. A pink desk? Have you got some office work to do? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you doing your accounts this Christmas? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely, I'll get you a pink desk. And what would you like, Ellie? Um, um... A laptop, please. Oh, how old are you? Eight. Do you think Santa's made of money? <laughs> a laptop? Yeah. Oh, would you like five megabytes, or how many do you need? Um, one, please. And a large memory? <laughs> well, I'll have to think about that one, because that's quite expensive. Is there anything more that you'd like? Because there is a credit crunch on. <laughs> um... <laughs> yes? Anything else? Um, Something more reasonable, like maybe a Cadbury selection box? Yes, please. A Cadbury selection box. <laughs> well, I'll get you one of those. That's no problem at all. And Gabby, anything else I can help you with this morning? <laughs> oh. Hi, Santa. Hello, hello, Gabby. How are you? Fine. You're calling me live from Lapland. Isn't that marvellous, Gabby? <laughs> yeah. I'm ever so busy this morning, but I've found time to speak to you because I'm told you've been very good this year. <laughs> Is that true? Yes. Very nice. What can I get you for Christmas, Gabby? <laughs> um, please, can you get me um, a laptop? A laptop? How old are you? I'm eight. Eight years old? What are you doing on a laptop? <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what are you going to be doing on a laptop at eight years old? I don't know. 
Can't I just get you something more? A computer, then. Well, what about anything cheaper? (laughs) Mummy Um, and Daddy aren't made of money. (laughs) Some makeup. Makeup? What do you want? Eyeliner? (laughs) Mascara? Foundation? (laughs) I'll sort that out for you, Gabby. Well, you've been very good this year, and I'm going to come and see you this evening, but you must be in bed by 8 o'clock, because if I come round and see you, it'll all be over. (laughs) You're going to make sure you're in bed for me? Yes. Very good, and bye-bye to you, Ellie. Bye-bye, Santa. Merry Christmas. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Gabby. Is that's Jacob? Hello, Santa. Hello, Jacob. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Are you in a good mood, Jacob? Yeah, I'm really happy. Oh, it's so exciting, Jacob. Tell me, what would you like for Christmas? <laughs> I, I don't really know. What do you mean you don't know? You can't call Father Christmas if you don't know what you want. <laughs> Can I get you some chocolate, maybe? That would be nice. That is fine. Yes. What about a pink desk? No. Well, a lady just came on. She was only eight years old, Ellie, and she wanted a pink desk. <laughs> Isn't that a bit silly? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll have to do what I'm asked, I suppose. Jacob, is there anything I could do that would make you happy this Christmas? Um, I don't know. No? Well, you've been such a good boy this year. I'm looking through my notes, and it says, Your mummy's called, let me think, uh, Lynn. Your mummy's called Lynn. Yeah. <laughs> you see, Santa knows everything. I have you on my list here, and you've been such a good boy this year. You've got to get a little gift. So is there nothing you can think of that I could get for you? Well, I like a bike. A bike? Well, Jacob... I'll have a word with Mrs. Claus and see whether we have any bikes left. Let okay. me see. She says she's going to let me know by midnight tonight. So you're going to go to bed early and be a good boy, and then Santa will come tonight. Is that all right? Yeah. Merry Thanks. Christmas to you, Jacob. Merry Christmas, Santa. Have a wonderful Christmas. And Hello. tell Mummy Lynn that she's been very good this year as well, and if she's very lucky, I'll bring her a little gift as well. <laughs> Jacob, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Jacob! Alex Belfield, in the morning. BBC Radio Leeds.